There are no guarantees in this business. We always talk about what Mars might throw at us this time, and it's never the thing it threw the last time, and so we have to be prepared for that. And when you're planning to pull off something called, quote, seven minutes of terror, you can only imagine the anticipation at NASA right now. And of course, we are talking about the nail-biting landing that NASA's Perseverance rover is attempting tomorrow afternoon. And so much is leading up to this challenging moment. Here now to talk about what goes into Perseverance's entry, descent, and landing phase, New 6 digital journalist and space expert, Emily Speck. Good morning, Emily. Good morning. I mean, this is an exciting thing we're looking forward to tomorrow. What are you looking forward to the most? And, and explain this seven minutes of terror. So I'm looking forward to hearing two words, which would be landing nominal, which means it's down, wheels down, and everything is okay. okay. Um, there is a reason they call this seven minutes of terror because a lot has to happen in about, it's actually about 15 minutes, the whole phase, but everything has to line up correct. The parachute mm. has to deploy, it has to eject a bunch of different stages, it has to balance, it has to correct itself, and it's all gotta go right in order for this thing to land on Mars. And I mean, it's coming at a pretty fast clip, I heard, right? Yeah, so basically it's going to come in and hit the Martian atmosphere going 12,500 miles per hour. Whoa. And when it plops down on Mars, it's going less than two miles per hour. So that's that's a lot of stop speed there. Right. So let's let's we're looking at some of the uh, diagrams here of the timeline. So kind of take us through that when this landing stage will, will actually start. Right. So the landing our time is about 3:55 p.m. Eastern time, and like I said, this whole thing takes place in about 15 minutes. The first thing that's going to happen is the spacecraft that's carrying Perseverance rover is going to kick off this, this thing called a cruise shell stage, and then that kicks off a whole nother series of milestones that need to happen before landing. So when it hits the Martian atmosphere, like I said, it's going super fast. It's going to drop from 12,500 miles per hour to 10,000 miles per hour. And then it's going to kick off some things called balances that help it kind of correct itself and make sure as it's going through the atmosphere, it's corrected and it's positioned for landing. And then after a few other things that happen, the 70 foot parachute is going to deploy. And that's really going to put the brakes on this spacecraft. So, and it's gonna hit you know, the Martian atmosphere and it needs that heat shield to protect itself. And then eventually something happens and it's kind of called the sky crane. It separates from the rover and it hovers with these 20 foot cables and then it drops down on Mars. Oh my gosh. This is amazing, Emily. And so, I mean, this landing is different from Curiosity, really. I mean, this is a, a whole different ball game, new technology. Yeah, absolutely. So they learned a lot from the Curiosity landing, and now there's a whole new navigation system to land. So as the spacecraft and the rover are coming down, it's taking photos of the Martian of the Martian surface, right? So that's kind of what you're seeing right now. It's, it's taking these descent photos, and then it's looking and saying, oh, can't land there. You know, there's a rock, there's boulder. It, would this be a safe landing spot? And it's a really relatively small area that it's looking to set down in Jezero Crater. Oh my gosh. Okay, so how can our viewers kind of watch this landing? You said about 3.55 our time. How can we stay up to date on the whole mission? Yeah, obviously we're going to have updates on clickorlando.com slash space. It'll be on the homepage. You can follow along on social media. Um, I will definitely be following along very closely. <laughs> mm -hmm. we're gonna, I know we're going to have our newscast starting early, so it's very exciting. We're going to carry it live. Um, of course, NASA TV is going to have it for the first time ever. They're going to have a Spanish broadcast of this landing, so oh. I'm really excited about that as well. Yeah, and something interesting that I they, they're having um, they have microphones on it because they wanted to yes. see what it sounds like. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, um, as a podcast host, I'm really excited about that. <laughs> right. So, there's a couple microphones on the rover. Um, one of them actually is going to capture that, those landing sounds. So, that should be pretty wild to hear. And then the one that I'm most excited about is the one that's going to hopefully work on Mars. They don't know yet if it's definitely going to work. This is a whole new thing. But what it could capture are the sounds of the wheels crunching on the Martian surface. Mm. So, we might actually be able to hear what it sounds like on Mars, which I don't think will be very noisy. Yeah, it's fascinating. So you have no shortage of things to talk about on your podcast, Space Curious. Yeah, absolutely. We're working on a second season. We're going to start off with a couple historical episodes. I'm really excited about that. We're still looking for podcast ideas for episodes, so you can submit them. We actually have a new website. It's spacecurious.show, so you can submit your questions to me there. All right. Well, good deal. Thanks, Emily. We'll catch up with you again soon. Yeah.